This episode of D News is brought to you by Domain.com. You guys want to know why your cat only loves you some of the time? Well, then come see me after this intro. Look at this face. Stare into its ferocious, untamable eyes. Cower in its innate ability to stealthily stalk prey to satisfy its carnivorous desire for blood. That little grumpy cat retains a wild side, my friends. And by wild side, I mean wild cat side, as the house cat is still very closely related to the wild cat. Researchers who have been tinkering around in the genome of house cats have discovered that they are still very closely related to their wild brethren, and as a result, are only semi-domesticated. Researchers from Washington University in Saint Louis found that your little kitty still retains numerous characteristics shared by its wild kin, like hunting abilities, sensory traits, and digestive similarities. The human-feline relationship began around 9,000 years ago as man's agricultural efforts thrived. As a result, researchers speculate that undomesticated wild feline ancestors utilized the crops as a hunting ground for rodents that fed on the grains. This created a very symbiotic bond with humans who were like, these potentially dangerous cats are great. I'll reward them with other scraps of my food. And maybe try stroking one once in a while, depending on its stroke to claw my face ratio. This reward system encouraged the ferocious felines to return for some easy eats. And over time, the fear of humans diminished as genes associated with reward response and fear slowly altered. These more domesticated cats would then breed with similar, more domesticated cats, eventually leading to the lazy thing in the corner of your house, bathing in a splash of light pouring through the window. But don't turn your back on that fat cat. It's still very wild at heart and will end you in your sleep. Compared to dogs, which we've been domesticating for an estimated 30,000 years, it turns out the human impact on cats has been relatively small. And that explains why your cuddly little furball is so solitary and frequently terrorizes the mouse and bird populations of your cul-de-sac. Interestingly enough, it seems the biggest impact we humans have had on felines is in their fur and color pattern, as we have aggressively been breeding them for their looks for the past 200 years. Daddy, make that cat make it with that cat, because I want a fluffy calico. Whatever you want, sweetie. Humans are weird. Hey, maybe you're a feline fanatic who wants to start your own cat website. Can't have enough of those on the internet, am I right? So why not buy your own domain name from domain.com? No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or a .net domain name. And because you watch D News, you can get 15% off domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. Do it. Guys, let me initiate an intense discussion. Dogs or cats? What's better? Go, leave your answers in the comments below and keep coming back for more D News every day of the week. I'm Joe Beretta.